Yeah, I know. I was just going to go down there because I got to go to the... Um... Did you know that wombats have square poo? Hey, YouTube. So, uh, I've been away for a while. Like five months a while. And if you've been watching any of the vlogs from Japan or Thailand, you know I've been up to quite a bit of stuff. Very basically, I was with a school that is part of a worldwide massive organization called YWAM. Basically, it's kind of like a missionary school. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. We had three months of sort of a lecture phase kind of thing where we discussed all kinds of things all over the map, mainly to do with Christianity and justice. And then went to Japan for a month to do a documentary on human trafficking, and then went to Thailand for about a month as well to work with a ministry called SHE. SHE stands for Self-Help and Empowerment, and uh, we can talk about what exactly they do later because I only have so much time on this video and I want to talk about what I want to talk about. Basically, I had an awesome, awesome, awesome five months and I met a lot of awesome, awesome, awesome friends who I miss very much already even though I've only been home for like three days. And being on a trip like that where where the main focus is social justice and all these different sorts of issues come up, you can imagine there were a lot of things where I was like, hey, that would make a good rant topic. Hey, that would make a good rant topic. Hey, look at this list. I have a million things to talk about. And believe me, I have thousands of things I'd like to talk about with you guys. But I think for this return episode of Rant, I'd like to start us off with our most favorite topic on this show. And that is, of course, religion. Not that the title didn't give anything away, but... Whatever. So many of you know, I have a lot of problems with modern religion. I see a lot of good in it, but I also see a lot of awful in it. Which I'm sure anyone who has a brain and looks into things can sort of develop the same sort of distaste for what religion has become today. And after being in Japan and Thailand, my perspective on religion and my distaste for it grew even more. But it was for a reason that is probably completely different to what you're thinking. And here's why. To start off, let's go back to what religion was originally intended to look like. James 127 has this to say about religion. Pure and undefiled religion before our God and Father is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. Also, Isaiah 58 says this about religion. To break the chains of wickedness, to untie the ropes of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and to tear off every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the poor and homeless into your house, to clothe the naked when you see him, and to not ignore your own flesh and blood? And then, of course, you could look at the entire life of Jesus and see his example for religion. And then we look at what religion has become today. Eat the holy bread, drink the holy water, and you'll be holy. Move on. Eat the holy bread, drink the holy water, and you'll be holy. Move on. Eat the holy bread, drink the holy water, and you'll be holy. Move on. I'm sure you can think of other examples for what religion has become today. Basically, religion's original intention was to end suffering. Now, religion has become an institution for rich people. Rich people who are afraid of everything and anything that crosses their path because it could all be unholy and make them unholy and they don't want to be unholy. Now, a lot of people probably know where I'm going with this, but let's just clarify for a minute. Most people hate religion because they steal your money, they start wars, they start arguments, they're ignorant. There's just a lot of a lot of reasons that people hate religion. And these are all awful things, don't get me wrong. I detest these things. I hate these things. But what I discovered in Japan and Thailand is that my main problem with religion is not what they do, it's what they don't do. We met so many broken, hurting, and needy people in Japan and Thailand. Heck, even in Toronto when we were doing like our lecture phase stuff, we met a ton of broken, needy, homeless people. And today's version of religion does nothing about that. Religion, okay, is something that I believe was created by God to end suffering and end injustice and spread peace joy and like just goodness around the world. And mankind has taken it and warped it into this like self-righteous, like self serving disgusting thing, which completely ignores that which it was originally created for. In the title, you'll notice I called religion a poison. Religion is poisoning people's minds into this sort of numbness to suffering state. It has become all about you doing the right thing for you and for yourself and getting everything you need to be righteous and making sure you get into heaven. And in doing that, people easily forget about all the hurt that's happening on the same planet they live on. Either that or religion teaches people that Oh, all this suffering is within God's plan. What? You're telling me the God you believe in is okay with a three-year-old dying of AIDS or a five-year-old getting her eyes plucked out by a drug lord? You're telling me that the God you believe in is okay with people mindlessly slaughtering each other over a piece of land instead of going and helping out those who are dying and sick just because they have no food? You're telling me it's within your God's plan that a 12-year-old is kidnapped from her parents and sold into sex slavery? You have a sucky God, man. The God that I believe in and the God that the Bible consistently talks about if you actually read 
hate it. He hates all the suffering in the world, and he's made it our mission and everyone else's mission to end all the suffering in the world and do something about it. You know, there's this old saying that goes, uh, I don't ask God why he allows all this suffering in the world because I'm afraid he'll ask me the exact same question. Now, I realize I've probably said a lot of controversial things in this video, and some people are gonna get really angry, some people are gonna agree with me, some people are gonna have no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, as you guys know, this is an opinion show, so please, Leave some comments and give me your thoughts or some video responses. Let's discuss this. Also, one thing for you guys to think about, when do you want me to start doing rants normally? Like, what day of the week? Do you want to go back to Mondays? you want to do Tuesday, Wednesday? You know, what day? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What day? I'm only going to do one a week if I can. But I just want to know what day of the week would be best for you guys because this show is for you. It's not just for me. So... When do you guys want to do this? So yeah, discuss all of that. But anyway, now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the show. Hero of the week. So we obviously don't have a hero of the week this week because we haven't done a show in ages, but I do have someone that I'd like to point out and talk about because I think they're pretty awesome. I met this guy in Japan. His name is Charlie and he started an organization called Second Harvest. It is the only food bank in Japan. It might be Tokyo, but I think it's Japan. The only food bank in Japan. Definitely only food bank in Tokyo. Maybe only food bank in Japan. We got to work with him on a couple of occasions and help pack soup for the Philippines and do all kinds of stuff and moving food around in the warehouse to send out to people all over the country. I just, yeah, he was a totally awesome dude who had a total heart for people and loved people and just was, had made it his life mission to help people and end suffering. So big shout out and thank you to Charlie and Second Harvest in Japan. You guys rock. And now for today's shout out. Today's shout out goes out to a YouTube user named X Random Shadow Man X. Did I say that right? X Random Shadow Man X was the 10th person to comment on my last video. Congratulations, random blah, 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 whatever your name is. Shout out to you. Remember, if you would like a shout out to one of my videos, just be the 10th person to comment on this video and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. And if you'd really like to comment but don't have anything to say about anything else I've already talked about in this video, here is a weekly Would You Rather. Would you rather have permanently sticky feet or permanently sticky hands? Also, if you have a random face that you'd like to see me do, I don't have any left to do, so if you'd like to see me do a random face, just post it in the comments and I'll be sure to do it in the next video. Okay, I think that's everything that I gotta say for today and the rest of this week and possibly for a little while longer because we gotta figure out when exactly we're gonna be doing these videos. But I've been talking way too much and I feel like you guys are probably getting bored at this point, so I'm just gonna say thank you for watching Rant. I'm Isaac Goley and I will see See you next time. I was gonna say next week, but I don't know if it'll be next week. Peace in. Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Comment, 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 comment and subscribe. And maybe favorite too.